Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the See the Stories, the signature segment of the three-hour news show. Now, prior to talking with our guest today, I want to ask my colleague right here. Me, okay. Do you still remember in, uh, you, what kind of game that you used to play when you were a kid? It's a traditional game. Traditional game. Traditional game. Uh, yes. Rubber rope jumping. Man, I used to do that too. You? I used to be good. I thought it was only I for girls, you. no? I, I, I thought so too. <laughs> no, not when I'm playing it. Before. <laughs> And then um, I remember Chong Clock. Yes. The wooden yes, yes, with yes. Uh, 16 mm -hmm. holes. He's very good in strategizing with that thing. Yeah. Right? Okay, okay. And I guess for you, it would be marble, no? <laughs> I mean, no, I'm, I suck at that actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, that is really good, Yanni. I'm gonna. Uh, should I tell you guys what I was uh, really, really good at when I was uh, a, a kid? Um, yeah, jumping with the rope, that, that you know, <laughs> that was really, I mean, because that actually requires some flexibility, some yeah. athleticism too, because I used to uh, be very, very active as a kid. But then again, unfortunately now, not too many kids know about Indonesian traditional games, and these days, this is why there is a community called Teman Main, oh sorry, Teman Main, which preserves traditional Indonesian games amid the digital era. Taman Mind aims to promote the habit of collective playing with the aim of preserving traditional Indonesian games, which is part of the country's cultural heritage. Not just that, traditional Indonesian games also come with the added benefit of shaping motor skills, competitiveness, responsibility, intelligence, and many more. So to know more about the Mind community, let's welcome their founders, Rafika, Nuriana, and Evin Jeffani in the studio. Hello, welcome. Hello, thank welcome. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for being here. You know, just looking at the games, I mean, the tools in here. That too, right? So excited. Yeah. And I see that you brought um, uh, rubber rope jumping. Yeah. You uh -huh. heard how he said he's the best, right? So we're gonna, maybe we get to see him do it Let's later see. on, right? Let's well, see. don't challenge me now. <laughs> well, we're so excited that you guys are here. So first of all, can you elaborate about the Men Mind community and why do you want to preserve traditional Indonesian games? Yeah, so basically, the Men Mind is started with a group of friends that mm -hmm. uh, hang out together and uh, most of us are parents. Oh, and okay. we noticed the increasing amount of time uh, our kids uh, on their screen time and we we concern about their health and social uh, development so we decided to give them a positive activity mm -hmm. and we remember our uh, childhood memories <laughs> mm -hmm. when we playing traditional games so we want to introduce that to to them yeah because nowadays our yeah. kids are always on their gadgets right, right? so we have Very to static. introduce them to all these games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what do you think yeah, uh, the, the the mission is also to preserve Indonesian traditional games because we understand that it has so many benefits mm -hmm. and uh, values within it. Like for for instance, uh, honesty and like you said, competitiveness, and right, right, sportsmanship. Yeah. And we want uh, people to continue to play this and uh, accept accept it as our identity and also cultural heritage. heritage. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, now, I think you just said it too, because nowadays you see kids just, most that you can see <laughs> sitting down, yeah. uh, glued to their uh, gadget, or just in front of the TV, maybe not so much with the gadget, but just watching. Mm -hmm. Not so much we uh, see them outside again, mm -hmm. hanging out with their kids, uh, with other kids and playing. Mm -hmm. So, um, you guys from Tamil Mind, what do you, um, what do you think of, of, of today's kids' um, routines? Do you think when you're doing this, do you think there's still uh, an appeal for kids these days to do this, go outside playing with this? And then if so, then what can we do, what guys, uh, what you guys think to, to make sure that you can still boost their, the appeal to the kids these days? Yeah, we see that uh, this is very challenging mm. to introduce these <laughs> yeah. games to them. So we, we organize the event uh, on, on, on the school. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we integrating the program on, on school, to, and we we playing, we introduce the games and playing with the teacher, the parents, and the oh, kids. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it could be like an extracurricular activities, like after school. Yeah, activities. yeah, like like events. Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And do you um, let me take it a step step further? Uh, do you how often do you guys do this when you go to schools and then do? You, like I think These one or twice yeah. a week, yeah. We oh, yeah, really? yeah. It's oh, like our okay. regular regular program. program. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. okay, okay. It's like a roadshow from one school yes. to school. <laughs> yeah. 
know they're busy. They have <laughs> so, I love it. so how do you preserve the essence of traditional Indonesian, Indonesian games while adapting them uh, for modern times? Because mm -hmm. this is not what we used to no. have. So when we were little, this is yeah. how, how you play. You you like you draw it on yes. the street, right? With right, chalk. right. With yeah. chalk, right? Yeah. So what else did you? What else do you have to do differently with all these traditional games? That's also one of the um, methods that people use, or people do nowadays, uh, changing the materials, the, materials. the yeah. games, the, of the tools, like like these printed banners. Yeah, it's so easy mm. to carry. They right. can play whenever they want, and also, yeah, so many things we we have done. I think uh, one of the uh, one of the strategy we use, like uh, we use social media to promoting the Indonesian traditional games yep. for uh, millennials and also Gen Z. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us your uh, Instagram or uh, um, social media handles for everyone at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our Instagram is uh, temanmain.org. Okay, temanmain.org. Teman okay. Now I'm looking at some stuff here in front of us. Now, um, how many of the traditional games that you guys have adapted you now to suit um, our, our lives these days? There are actually so many Indonesian so many, tradi huh? traditional yeah. games, but uh, I think what we usually do is like like only 12 or yeah, 12 or so. Yeah, I changed mm -hmm. the uh, used to uh, use the uh, 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 like a bamboo and we right. change yeah. it with uh, a stick. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, do you modify a little bit of the rules when you guys <laughs> introduce these yeah. to the yeah, kids? Yeah, we have to. Yeah, you we have, have to. Right. Some, okay. Some, mm -hmm. some of this it. Is yeah. I was wondering. So you guys change the rules a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, because we 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 make uh, we we try to encourage the children that uh, that these games are easy to play. Mm -hmm. So um, they maybe ca came to us like uh, I don't know how to play this. Of so course, we right. simplify right, right. the rules. Yeah, right. that they uh, they would understand easily. Okay. Yeah, it was too complicated. I know. Right? Nowadays, yeah, they were like, no, I don't want to do this. Can because I? Yeah. if you think about it, they, they, we think that they can very easily uh, think about or understand or solve uh, complicated things since they actually play, right. you know, yeah. a gadget. Because yeah. you ask me, I can't do any games <laughs> on my gadget. I'm just not that <laughs> smart. But these guys can. But but if, when it comes to this, you guys yeah. have to simplify it a little bit for them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Right. Um, can you provide examples of how traditional Indonesian games positively impact children's physical, emotional, and social well-being? Do you see the difference? And I yeah, uh, we can see that, uh, like uh, when we play benteng or oh, angklek right. or yeah. galasin, yeah. it required uh, the physical activity. Uh -huh. They have to run, they have to jump, and it improves their motor skill. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Like their emotional, like uh, they when they deal with winning or losing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, and then the social. Yeah. It also. also yeah. yeah. It also uh, involving social skills. Yeah. They're communicating with each other and mm -hmm. also and negotiating. Team. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Talk that. about strategies on how to win and yeah. yes. <laughs> I think just how are we trying to win cope this? with, yeah. with, with the, the you know there there's some wins there's some losses that they have to yeah. face. Yes, that's going to be a challenge on its own, right? <laughs> exactly. Now, speaking of challenges, have you uh, faced any challenges when you're trying to introduce or trying to in, uh, get the kids uh -huh. to um, get involved? <laughs> this <laughs> we want to hear, right? You wanna, <laughs> yeah. Let us hear your so. challenges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, uh, our challenges is most are uh, the digital games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have go. to compete with yeah. gadgets. Yes. Yes. We have to appeal their attention. Make it more interesting. Yeah. Make it more interesting. Right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and um, do you have, I mean, maybe you can give us one example where uh, you know, the, the gadget wins over the uh, <laughs> physical, uh, traditional yeah. game. Is there a, uh, a case where that happened in the past for you guys? Well, I think most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. Wrong at question. First. My uh, at first. At first. In at the at first. first. At right. the beginning. First. But then, like when, as soon as they try and they get involved in the game, yeah. they, will, they will have fun. Yeah, they just yeah. have to give it a try yeah. first, right? right? Yeah, yeah. like my, 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 my kids are very uh, interesting to play outside. Yeah. Yeah. Now when they 
learn Compared and know the okay. traditional oh, yeah. games. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Well, I want to know, like, for for these games, um, what what age group do you recommend, like, mm. for them oh. to try the games? Mm. All ages. <laughs> yeah, all ages. All ages. Yeah, I started with uh, maybe four and five, uh, uh, four and five. Started playing, uh, playing and collect three, two uh -huh. and three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> pretty early. Yeah. Okay. Just introduce them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now, how do you, how do you, um, again, you you gotta have something because now this is something that we didn't do uh, when we were kids, right? Mm. Because again, what Yanni said, we had a chalk, we drew th things yeah. on on the on the on, on the, the street. street, right? And but this is obviously something completely different. Did you have some discussions with with anyone who's got some kind of um, a background or uh, knowledge of this? Did you work with you know maybe some artists <laughs> or some? Somebody who's got something Every also. Someday. That's a good there. idea, actually. We very looking forward. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you looking so forward to not it? Yet. Yeah. Not not yet. All just your creation, kind yeah. of your yes. oh, creative awesome. ideas coming out to uh, yeah. real life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Yay. Cool. All right. Um. So we know about the Man Mine is a com uh, it's a community. Yes. But have you ever collaborate with other uh, organizations or maybe the government to preserve traditional Indonesian games? Because this is like a great idea. Yeah. It's really like yeah, all yeah, throughout yeah, Indonesia, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. We we already uh, collaborated with schools, mm -hmm. uh, with corporate or community. Mm -hmm. uh, but we maybe. Uh, in yeah. the future, we can collaborate with government. Yeah, yeah. we <laughs> hope so. We hope so. Well, we hope so too. We hope that it's gonna happen after you uh, leave the uh, you know the studio tonight. <laughs> Tomorrow you're gonna Hopefully. get some calls. Hopefully. Right? Hopefully. Right. Well, guys, uh, we're gonna take a quick break right now. But you might wanna just sit down and be very very tight about. Um, getting very comfortable because after the break we're gonna come back and we're gonna play some traditional games, right? I think Yanni is ready because I'm gonna kick <laughs> her behind. All right, guys, we're gonna come back after this one, so stay tuned. We got the mind still here, the community, so don't go anywhere.